Praise Jesus, glory to God, and hallelujah. We have been promised peace. And I don't know about you, but I need some peace in my life, especially with all the stuff that's going on in the world today. I'm Ann Thomas with Soul Seeker Ministries. Welcome to the Promises of God Bible Study. Peace has so many different definitions, but there's just one that we want to concentrate on with, for this. A state of mental calm and serenity with no anxiety. Doesn't that sound wonderful? That's what I want. A state of mental calm and serenity with no anxiety. And we've been promised that. Peace is a legacy of Jesus Christ. Legacy is something that is handed down or remains from a previous generation or time. Let's go to John 14 and 27. This is Jesus speaking here. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Jesus, when he died, when he rose again, when he ascended back to the Father, left us his legacy of peace. And it has remained from the time that he went back to the Father through all these generations until now. We still have that peace. A state of mental calm and serenity with no anxiety. And he left that for us. Now the word peace there in Greek in that scripture is irene. And it means peace, literally or figuratively, by implication, prosperity. And prosperity is the condition of enjoying great wealth, success, or good fortune. But the main point here is the peace, the freedom from anxiety, the freedom from worry. We can have serenity inside, no matter what's going on around us. All right, let's go to John 16 and 33. Again, this is Jesus speaking. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. That tribulation there means pressure, literally or figuratively. You know, when we, when we are under an extreme amount of stress. We have a lot of stress in our lives. That is pressure, either internal from worry, anxiety, whatever, or external, meaning our circumstances. We just have stress and that's pressure and it's just squeezing, squeezing, squeezing on us. That's the tribulation he's talking about there, either internal or external. But you know what? I, I have heard people, and I used to say this myself about this particular scripture, that be of good cheer means you got to go about with a smile on your face all the time no matter what's happening because Jesus has overcome the world. And while that's a wonderful thought, that's not always easy to do. But in doing this study, I discovered something. That word cheer in Greek... That word cheer in Greek means to have courage. And it comes from a Greek word tharsos, which means boldness. So be of good cheer, I have overcome the world, doesn't necessarily mean we have to be happy about everything that's going on in our lives, but it means we don't have to bow down to fear because Jesus has already overcame. To be of good cheer in the manner that this is talking about means to be courageous, to have courage, to be bold. Because we can, because Jesus has already overcame everything. And you know, that made me feel a lot better because I thought there's some things going on I can't smile about. I'm sorry, I can't do it. But that's not what that scripture is talking about anyway. And Jesus said, I have overcome the world. That word overcome is nikao means to subdue, literally or figuratively. 
And subdue means to bring a person or group of people under control using force. All right. Jesus said, I have overcome the world. I have subdued the world. I have brought the world under my control using force, which is the power of God. That's how he can say, I have overcome the world. I have subdued it. And it ties in with his authority that he has given us. We can have courage and be bold no matter what's going on, no matter what we're facing. All right. The peace that we're promised is a legacy of Jesus Christ. It passes understanding. And that's in Philippians 4 and 7. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Understanding. It's just our intellectual mind. We can't understand this peace that we have been promised. Once we experience it, we cannot understand it with our minds, our intellectual minds. It's a spiritual thing. And he said, the peace of God shall keep your hearts. Keep means, in Greek, to be a watcher in advance, that is, to mount guard, figuratively to him in or protect. And our hearts, that will be our thoughts or feelings. The peace of God keeps our hearts, protects our hearts. It, it's a, a guard. It's a, a watcher, um, like hedges it about. Our hearts, our thoughts, our feelings, our souls, our um, what we really are, our our inner man. Okay. Peace of God is a gift of God. That's in Psalm 29 and 11. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. It's a gift. He has promised to give us this peace. And he does through Jesus. It's a gift. The peace of God is abundant. And that's in Psalm 119, 165. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them great peace we love God's law we love God's word we love everything about God we have great peace not just peace great peace it's abundant and let's go over to Proverbs 3 and 17 her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace. All her paths are peace. Peace is abundant. Now the the she that it's talking about here in Proverbs is wisdom. And we will have our own Bible study on the promise of wisdom a little bit later on. But when we have that wisdom, God's wisdom, we have abundant peace. Um, the peace of God is perfect. That's in Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. We are kept in, not just peace, perfect peace, when our minds are stayed on God. And that word stayed in Hebrew, samak, means to prop to lean upon or take hold of. When we have our minds stayed on God, that means God props us up. We are leaning on God. And he keeps us in perfect peace when we do that. When we are thinking about God, when we are meditating about God, when we are reading about God, when we... Um, are praying or talking to God. We have our minds 
stayed on God and do an experiment if you're not in the habit of meditating on God or really spending time in his word or in prayer dedicate yourself for the next seven days to spend a little bit of time in his word to spend a little bit of time talking to him to spend a little bit of time meditating on him and watch the peace explode inside of you it is unbelievable the enemy doesn't want us to do that he doesn't want us to be peaceful when we are at peace we're dangerous to him um, if he can keep us all tore up and, and just full of turmoil inside we're not gonna do anything to harm him are we so I challenge you to do that for the next seven days make an effort to have your mind stayed on God and watch the peace explode in your life okay the peace of God is like a river that's in Isaiah 48 and 18 oh that thou hadst hearkened to my commandments then had thy peace been as a river and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea when you think about a river a river of peace you know peace being a river it, it makes you think of something that is powerful readily available uh, there's no end to it rivers flow there's just a continuous flow of peace that's what God's peace is like if we'll just reach out and grab it and that peace does not have a thing in the world to do with our circumstances or what's going on in our immediate lives in our families in our communities it has nothing to do with what's going on in the world that peace is available to us on the inside no matter what so let's strive to keep our minds stayed on God and watch that perfect peace flow through our lives just like a river I hope that you've enjoyed this uh, like the video if you liked it and if you think it can help somebody please share it don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can connect with us online we're at uh, soulseekerministries.org or sunriserecords.com at sunrise with an O S O N we're on Facebook and Twitter you can shoot me an email if you have any questions or leave them in the comment section below I pray you have a good blessed peaceful week Keep on keeping on for Jesus. God bless.